Hey, 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 everybody. How you doing? How you doing? It's been a little while, I know, but uh, I was on vacation. I went to Universal Studios, Parks and Resorts. Went to Universal Studios with Chris, the 1,000th ghost. And uh, I picked up some goodies. So I thought what we would do here is we would go through and see all the items that I picked up while I was at the parks. And uh, including what's sitting here in front of you. Boom, 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 boom. These weird things that are right here. And uh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at the stuff. What did I pick up? Let's look at the haul. This is a haul video, yeah. <laughs> So, I do have video of us in the park, me doing, us doing things and wowing, ooing, aahing, oh my gosh, look at that, look at this. But I don't know how to structure it and organize it yet. So, um, I did put up a few shorts on Twitter, and I think I will repost those shorts on YouTube here. But I don't really know exactly how I'm going to structure this into a longer format video, because it's... It, it kind of didn't work the way I thought it would work, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, we'll work that out and put that up later. So one thing that was going on was Mardi Gras. And I got some coins here. There were a couple of stations around the park that did these really nice. I mean, these are like solid heavy coins. And they were... Five dollars each coin, or fifteen dollars to get all four. So Chris and I were just hitting these up and doing all four, and then unfortunately we found there was only two stations that we found. So I'm I'm hoping there's more and we just missed them. And next time we go, we'll be able to get different coin, different coins, more coins. But uh, they had a Mardi Gras festival going on with Mardi Gras. Um, um, parade and everything and they all have the same back Mardi Gras and then they have let's see what's this one Universal Studios with the mask the Mardi Gras mask and then this one is louder wilder spicier with a lobster and the lobster's got a top hat on and then we have this one that is a another type of mask, right? Oh, it's a skeleton. A skull. Skull head with a top hat. Louder, wilder, spicier. Yeah, it's a skull with a top hat. That's pretty cool. And then this one is the alligator. Yeah. The alligator was a theme of the Mardi Gras down there alligator with stuff and then there was a transformers one in the transformers area and every one of them on the back has this cool transformers thing this is the nest on it it has that on the back of each and every one of these and then we got um let's see yeah so it's optimus prime And then we have Bumblebee. And those are okay. Those are neat. But these are the ones you really wanted. I should have got just four of these. <laughs> Autobot symbol. And the Decepticon symbol. Yeah. I think, I think, because I think you can click multiples when you do four coins for... 15. I don't think you have to get because these lights light up on there and you just click them and we went one, two, three, four without thinking. But it's like now that I'm seeing the coins for the Autobot, for the you know, for the Transformers ones, I should have went one, two, one, two. And then there's also these areas of injection molding. There's like uh injection molded stuff. Chris did all of them that we found. I think there was three or four of them that we, at least three, there might have been four that we found, but there could be more in the park. But this is the only one that I did. They're 
And while you're sitting there, you I did I took a video of it. You put in your you put in your money while you're sitting there. The the the, the clamp closes and makes a mold. You know, there's two metal parts that make a mold, and then this it injects the uh, plastic into it. It's an injection molding machine, and you just basically watch it work. It takes like a couple seconds. It fills up. And then start the cooling process so that it'll stay together and not melt once it pulls itself apart. And then it opens up, waits like a second, and this little spatula thing sort of like knocks it off and it falls into a tray that you can pick at it from the bottom. And um, I, of course, had to get the creature from the Black Lagoon because I think this is pretty cool. And it was a neat little process. And like I said, I... I videotaped that so we got we can play that and then so one of the very first things I got when I walked in was so those are the little little giddy things you can get around the park in multiple different spots but the first thing I ended up with was this from Chris himself Chris 1000th ghost gave me this sectars warrior of symbian mantor heroic sectar of the shining realm by Zika figures and he does look a lot like the original Mantor. This is fantastic. He's got um, bendable elbows, wrists, uh, looks like knee joints and feet joints. So he's a very well done, a well done figure and a bunch of accessories in a little baggie down there. So he must come with a shield and a weapon and everything. Really cool. They got Dargan, they got Zack. General Spydrax, a Skull Soldier, the Royal Guard, and Mantor. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, so I thank Chris for that a lot. Thank you so much, Chris, 1000th Ghost. So that I got when I met him at the hotel. And then let's look at the very first thing that I was interested in. So... I did not think that I was going to be a wand guy. I thought for sure that I would skip these wands. And based on what I saw in everybody else's videos and things like that, I just didn't think I was going to be someone who wanted a wand from Harry Potter. I like my Star Wars stuff. Um, I like Harry Potter. Nothing. I, I watch it on the regular. I love the books, the movies, everything. And... Um, but I just didn't think I'd be, I was into it enough to want some wands. So, but when I got there and started looking at these things, I liked the quality of the box, for one. The felt sort of interior that this comes with. You pop this off and you've got the wand itself right here. And to me, these are high quality, I mean basically made of wood they're incredible wands and um they had a deal going on where essentially you, you i i got this wand for free so they had four wands where you could pick from to get for free and one of the one of the four was this death eater wand so i i chose this wand as my free wand really cool and then I will show you the wands that I purchased in addition to that so they had a deal going on where if you bought a gift card you could then get um, more you, you you got the wand for free and got more on the uh, gift card than what you paid so you got extra money and you got the um, the wand, and you got a free wand. So I picked up the good and the bad. I went with Dumbledore and Voldemort because I wanted to have the contrast between the good and the bad. I, 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 it's, it's hard to say, like, do you go for Harry and Ron and Hermione? Do you go for, you know what I mean? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a situation where it's hard to go for just one. And uh, we picked these up at Ollivander's. Chris got a couple wands as well. I think he fell under the same spell. 
But yeah, we went to Ollivander's and we, um, oh, they give you a map of Diagon Alley. This is cool. And all of Hogwarts. Wow, that's neat. We might have to go through that in detail later on in a different video. But um, look at that thing. Wow. So cool. But yeah, we went to um, Ollivander's and picked out our wands, and um, it was a great experience. Actually, I think Chris got the, um, <clears throat> Chris did the full experience, so I think he got the, uh, he got his own wand. That's right. Um, I think he got one of these wands, which was a character wand, and then he got one of his own, like, tailored to himself. There are there are also wands you can get. You, I guess you could take a quiz or do something. And you can get a wand tailored to yourself. And now here is Lord Voldemort's wand. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a way you can get a wand tailored to yourself. And Chris did that. So he's he's got a special wand. Um, I, I wanted to go with the main characters first. And then if I decide later in the future that I want to have... Um, I decided you know when I go again that I want to have my own wand I would get it then because I really wouldn't even have the Death Eater wand but it was free so you got to pick one of the four and I think one of them was Hermione's and one was something else and I think it was one of the guys from the new from the Newt Scamander stuff and so it was kind of like well if you get Hermione's you got to get Ron's and Harry's and then you know what I mean? So you're stuck there. And then I was like, if I get the one from the Fantastic Beasts movies, what do I, I, I don't collect that stuff. What do I do with it? So it was like, you, you just kind of narrowed it down to me to be like, I just got to get the, um, the Death Eater one, you know? And plus it looked cool. And I say, I don't get things from Fantastic Beasts. And then I did, I got, this guy is fun. He's, he's cool looking. I think he's fun in the movies, and um, when I saw him, I just, I had to get, he's bendable, so you can kind of bend him in all these different ways, and uh, you can kind of get him to stand up here, and <laughs> that's neat. I like him. He's funny. <clears throat> I think he's a funny little guy. And, uh, hello. And I, I, I thought he was funny in the movies. So I, I, I had to get him when I saw him. $15. So he's a little expensive for what he is. But, uh, you know, I just thought he looked cool. He was, <laughs> I couldn't pass him up when I saw him. And then the next stuff I got <clears throat> were uh we'll do these next. So I went into the into the into this area into Marvel Land. In the Marvel area, they actually had comic books. Uh, yeah, I was like they had a full-on comic book store with comic books and everything. And you know me, I can't resist getting comic books, especially when there's variant covers. So I got the Scotty Young, the Scotty Young Avengers 1 million BC variant cover. Beautiful. I love Scotty's art. Peach Momoko variant Avengers 63, which I don't have this Peach Momoko variant. I love Peach. She is amazing. Uh, great artist. 
and um, whenever I have a chance to get her variant covers, I will grab them. An Avenger uh, X Men thirteen variant with with uh, Phoenix. I like Phoenix, so I saw that I thought this was a striking cover, so I picked it up. These were all cover price, by the way. So three ninety nine, three ninety nine. $4.99, $3.99, Peach Momoko Thing on Fantastic Four number two. Really cool. The thing with some birds hanging around. That's neat. And then Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Again, a Peach Momoko variant cover of number one. So I, I'm not collecting this series, but it's a Peach Momoko and um, I had to get it. Same with this one. I'm not collecting Miss Marvel and Wolverine, but it's a Peach Momoko cover, so I had to get it. And this is another one, Dark Web, number one. I have been reading and getting Dark Web, but I don't have the Peach Momoko variant, so I had to get this one. So cool. So freaking cool. So yeah, I got a lot of peach, a lot of peach covers, <laughs> but um, like I said, I can't pass up a good, I can't pass up a good uh, comic book store. So then one of the other things I usually get when I'm at a park or doing something is I get a, I get some stuffed animals. So we're going to back up a little bit here and we're going to show off the first stuffed animal, which is E.T., in the flannel, I, I like to call this one Drunk E.T. He's drunk. <laughs> so we have a Drunk E.T. here in the flannel. Really cool. I like him. I think it's funny. E.T. 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 <laughs> yeah. There was some good E.T. Uh, merchandise and stuff, and um, yeah, it was hard to resist buying all of it. You know, you I really, really did. There's like four or five e stuffed E.T.'s, and I really did want more than one, but um, I narrowed it down, and in the end, I just got one. So the other thing is, we went to... Um, let's see, so the E.T. is $21.95. So it's a to me that's a little expensive, but still in the reasonable side. But what surprised me even more was, look at this guy. He's gigantic. He's bigger than ET, but he was just eighteen ninety five. So I had to get him. I was like, I want the giant, the giant flea guy thing, whatever from. SpongeBob, it's awesome. He's screaming. So uh, yeah, I just I just thought this was so cool. Yeah, so I was like, I gotta have him. Ooh. And then the other thing from SpongeBob for fourteen fourteen dollars ninety five. It's Gary. <laughs> they had a stuffed animal of Gary. So I had to do it. And he's got, these are bendable. So you can bend them however you want to go. Yep. <laughs> so I just thought that was so cool. And that these were bendable. And I could get a weird Gary um stuffed snail so i was all in on that i was like oh yeah we're getting gary and then i gotta make room for my last purchase my last purchase the biggest purchase of the of the of the trip this is this is crazy guys this is insane what i bought here I don't normally go for things like this, too. This is 
This is something that I don't normally go for, but I, when I saw it, I had to get it. Bam! Look at that thing. Oh my gosh, look at its eye. Look at this. Now, some of you might know already that I love octopus, octopi. Um, I've got a tattoo of an octopus on my arm. Um, it takes up almost my whole arm. I don't know how to do it without showing it upside down, but it's there. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll let you get better pictures of that. But uh, when I saw this, I was like, holy crap, it's solid. It is awesome. It's got chains around here. Can you see the detail? See, it's like it's like a chain from a chainsaw almost all around here. Gears, little gears, and it's in its pockets there. I love the the curls and the detail that go into the tentacles and everything, and its eye. I mean, look at the eyes; those are so cool. Like, if you could see this, with the, the glass bubble comes all the way out. You see what I mean? It's like, yeah, you can kind of see it there. It's amazing. It looks so cool. And then it's got the, for the breathing, it's got these cylinders. Look at this thing. The detail is just incredible, right? And then... Here's the other cool thing. So there's a chain that's coming off the back here. And that is because, I mean, it connects to here. And you got this cool chain. And that is because you pull this little thing and it, it magnets itself shut. So. That's another cool thing, is it magnets itself shut. But it's got a nice little box inside. So a place to store your stash. It's so cool. Or jewelry or whatever you want to put in here. Little vintage Star Wars weapons. You can hide them in here. My vintage goodness can go right in there. Yeah, and it fits very secure. It's not gonna rattle around. Really, really cool. I'm digging this. I love this so much. And this was at the Chocolate Factory when I found this on uh, City Walk. City Walk is a little bit like their version of Disney Springs, but closer to the parks. So yeah, very cool. I was I was so excited to see that, and I, I had to get it, you know. Um, but this thing is expensive, ninety five dollars for this. So this was the most expensive of the pieces I bought while at Universal this, this week and this week, whatever. Yeah. Whew. <laughs> but, um, yeah, to me, it was a lot of t-shirts. Oh, I did get a t-shirt. Oh yeah, that's right. I did get a t-shirt. Let's see if I can hang this t-shirt up and show you what this says. I, I do I, I don't normally go for t-shirts but when I saw this one I had to get it this one is really cool it's funny I don't belong here <laughs> an alien saying I don't belong here so yeah that was my from the men in black it was from the Men in Black 
game or ride, whatever you want to call it, game. Yeah, from the Men in Black ride. Gary, no. There we go. Well, there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed taking this brief look. Well, it's kind of a half hour long look now at the pickups from Universal Studios. My trip with Chris, 1000th Ghost. At the end of February, beginning of March, 2023, I picked up mostly stuffed animals and wands, it looks like. <laughs> three wands, three stuffed animals, a bunch of comic books, some figurines, a giant octopus, steampunk, the robotic thing, and some cool coins. Um, yeah, good stuff. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I'm John. I'm out of here. And I will figure out some way to organize. I got to go through all the footage of the uh, of the event, of the days. We had two days in the park, one day at City Walk. So there's three days worth of video that I have to go through and organize. And I will be able to uh, put up something in the next week or so to showcase that trip. But here's the loot. Hope you enjoyed taking a look at it. Let me know what you think the best buy of the lot is and uh i will yeah let's chat in the comments what do you like the best and i'll talk to you guys in the next one see ya stay awesome everybody